Hello everybody, it's Miss Marie, the children's librarian at Lewisboro Library. And today, Friday, on Board and Busters, we're going to be celebrating Grandparents Day, which is coming up Sunday. And we're going to celebrate by making these great little grandparent crafts. They're called rosettes. And this one says, World's Best Grandma. And I'm going to make one for Grandpa as well. And um, what you need right now is to gather your um, list of things that you need. You need a paper plate. You need some cupcake holders, some scissors, some glue. If you have any coffee filters, you can use those. And you need about a nine inch or a small cake plate and some glue. And gather those up and join me on YouTube and I'll show you how to put it together. Okay, see you in a couple minutes, boys and girls. Okay, boys and girls, this is, this is a split screen. I'm using a mirror. Hopefully this will work. All right, you're going to take your plate. Okay. This is a regular cake plate size, and I'm going to take that. And what I'm going to use is actually this little tissue paper. Um, it's, it's called a doily. Um, your mom will probably know what it is. It's something you put out. Um, when you're putting cookies together. Um, sometimes they come in color, sometimes they come in lace, but I happen to have these. So I'm going to use this and start with this to cover my plate. Okay, so I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to glue in a circle. Now again, we're making a rosette, so just think of an open rose, which is a circle. So you want to do everything if you can in a circular motion because um, it'll look a lot better when it sticks. So I just glued that and I'm going to press it down okay, on my plate and I'm just going to turn it around and smooth it. Okay. I think I did it a little lopsided, but that's okay. That's okay. So, I have my plate covered. And also, I mentioned on the list you're going to need some of the little streamers. If you don't have that, um, you can use ribbon or, um, you know, even some paper towel, you know, cut up in a strip. And you want to take that and you want to fold it in half. Okay, and we are going to glue this to the plate. Okay, so let's see what I'm doing here. It's a little hard working on the two screens, but I will do the best I can. So I'm going to glue this down to the plate. Okay, alrighty. So then you have the plate and you have the streamers hanging. Okay? Alrighty. This is a very, very easy activity. And, um, you know, I would gather up things that you have already in your house. And um, if you have time, um, you're going to want to um, write a, um, a note or World's Best Grandma, World's Best Grandpa. I actually printed them out and just cut them. And um, I will show you in a moment. Okay, see, I printed this out. And I, see, it says World's Best Grandma, and I found one from World's Best Grandpa. Okay, and what I did was I took a circular, this is a, a jar of a mason, a little mason um, jar, and I put it around and made a circle. And then I cut it out, okay, and um, this is what my world's best grandpa one looks like. But you can just create your own if you just want to create it on a, on a piece of paper. That's fine as well. So you need to give yourself time to do that. In the meantime, this is where I'm at, okay. And now I'm going to add my cupcake. 
and little cupcake holders. See that? And what you want to do with this is you want to stretch it out, um, and you're going to cut it. So you have to open it up a little bit. So you want to get your scissors out, and you want to cut along the lines. Okay. This way, when we spread it out, it'll uh, fit nicer on the plate. Okay. Okay, and I'm just going around the cupcake holder. Very nice and easy. You be careful you don't want to cut too close into it. You're just cutting the, um, the little strips down. Okay. Alright, and I'm still going. I'm almost done cutting them. And for this little project, you're probably better off just using a small scissors. This is a, a kid size scissors, so um, it just makes it easier. It would, might be a little harder with a bigger scissors. So you cut that out, and you only really need one of them. I mean, you can layer them, which is fine, um, but you really only need one. Okay, so I think I have it. So you see that? And when you open it flat, it's going to look like that. It's a little wrinkly right now, but that's okay. I'm going to fold it in a little bit. Okay, so you're basically just pulling it down a little bit. So it kind of looks like that. And now I will take my heavy-duty glue. And I will make a circle of glue around and around. I only went around twice with that glue. And I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to place it on my plate. And I'm going to hold it down. this way, it looks like that. Okay, and I'm going to just smooth it out a little bit, and it's still wet, so I'm gonna smooth it out, and I'm going to press down the little, little petals now, because now we're turning it into a flower. And again, this is really easy, you can make a couple of them. Okay. Now, that looks like it'll be fine. I'm going to take my world's best grandpa and I'm going to glue around and around. Okay. And I'm going to put that in the middle of my cupcake holder. There we go. You need to give this time, of course, to dry before you hand it out. And in the meantime, you can do, you can decorate it even more, however you want. Um, right now, I'm just going to take a quick break so I can get some glitter glue, so I can jazz this up a little bit, and we'll be right back. Hi everybody, alright, I'm back and this is what I have so far. It's a little bit long, so I'm going to want to trim this a little bit. So I'm just going to go and trim it so it's not too, too long. And I have that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glitter glue, see that? And I have red and green. And I'm going to decorate on the blue. Okay, so I'm going to put my um, my double screen up, and I will show you how I'm doing this. So just bear with me. Up. There we go. Alrighty. So I'm going to take my glitter glue, 
and you don't forget you want to have something to wipe with and um, something to move it around with in case it comes out too much. So I'm going to go right on the blue. I'm going to put some silver, silver around that. Almost like making or uh, decorating a cupcake only. We're doing it on this paper. Okay. Almost done going around. Okay. So that was the silver. And I think now I'm going to use the green. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make some green lines. Go around paper. Oops, looks like a little bit of a problem here, so... Okay, see, the glue is actually very heavy on this little piece here. So I may have to touch that up a little bit. Okay, all right, keep going. Just have to be careful when you're squeezing this stuff out, not to put too much next to the other one because they will stick together. Oop. And what's good about it, if you put too much and it landed like right here, I'm just going to scrape that off a little bit, put it, okay, okay, and I have to touch that up a little bit. And if you even spread it out, you're still going to get glitter. It's going to go kind of all over. It's kind of cool. Okay. So, so far, I have some of the glitter glue decorated. Okay. And I need to give it time to dry a little bit. But this is what I have so far. So this is World's Best Grandpa. Okay, I'm going to give you that some distance. And this one is World's Best Grandma. And I did this one a little different. I added another layer of this little doily. And what I did was I folded it and uh, put it together so it would kind of stick out a little bit, like a little 3D pop-up area, you know, like a pop-up card. So this way, um, you know, adds a little uh, 3D element to it. So there you have it, our grandparent rosé, rosettes. And if you want, you can continually decorate it or, or add some stuff here, depending on what you have, and let them dry. And on Sunday, give it to your grandparents. I'm sure they love it because it was made especially for them by you. Awesome, boys and girls. Well, I hope you have a very, very nice and sunny weekend. And I hope your grandparents have a wonderful grandparents' day on Sunday. And Monday, I will be outside for story time. And I will be sharing a special story about grandparents. So I look forward to seeing you guys next Friday on board. Well, actually, next Friday is the library fair, so I won't be doing Board and Busters next Friday. I will be doing story time Monday and Wednesday, and I look forward to seeing you there. All right, boys and girls, have an awesome, awesome afternoon. Bye for now.